Today, we're going to talk about something on all of our minds, HPAI, or Highly Pathogenic Avian Influenza. This is a highly contagious disease in domestic and wild bird species capable of producing extremely rapid and high mortality. And as you might already know, it's been rocking our poultry industry. Here at Southland Organics, the goal of our poultry biosecurity branch is to provide helpful information on topics related to the poultry industry. From bird health and nutrition to farm safety and finance, we want to be your resource. But sometimes that means addressing the most difficult challenges our producers are facing. Since the early months of 2022, the CDC reports that more than 52 million birds across 46 states have either died as a result of HPAI infection or been culled due to exposure to infected animals, making this the single largest HPAI outbreak in the U.S. ever. Until this point, the largest outbreak in American history was in 2015, when just over 50 million birds were lost from 21 affected states. Both of these outbreaks began in the winter. In the case of the 2015 outbreak, positive cases stopped by the following June, thanks to the warm weather. But in the case of the current outbreak, positive cases continued through the summer of 2022 and picked back up when the weather cooled down. There was no true break. The cases just kept coming. But why? What's different this time? One marked difference is the route of transmission. During the 2015 outbreak, the majority of positive cases were due to farm-to-farm -farm transmission. In contrast, this outbreak is being driven by wild bird reservoirs. Wild birds can be infected with HPAI and show no signs of illness, allowing them to carry the disease with them while migrating, making it possible to expose domestic poultry populations as they go. Migratory birds tend to travel in one of four flyway zones over the U.S. The Atlantic, the Mississippi, the Central, and the Pacific zones. While the 2015 outbreak was limited to three of those flyway zones, the current outbreak has caused cases in all four. This extensive presence in wildlife reservoirs is speculated to be what made it possible for the virus to persist through warmer temperatures. As the migratory birds make their way to their winter homes, they leave behind virus shed in their droppings. Domestic poultry can then become infected by direct contact not only with infected animals, but also with their droppings and from environmental contamination. This can be anything from bedding to equipment and feed to shoes that have been contaminated with the HPAI virus. In an effort to ensure that outbreaks are detected as early as possible, the United States Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service partners with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services, along with a couple other national organizations, to conduct active monitoring for avian influenza in wild bird populations. This allows commercial poultry companies and growers to prepare for an outbreak and change biosecurity practices prior to the introduction to any domestic birds. A pretty common question is, what happens if my birds do get HPI? What should I expect? Some common signs of an infection with highly pathogenic avian influenza are lethargy and unwillingness to eat, nasal discharge, coughing, sneezing, purple discoloration of the combs and wattles, and sudden and rapid mortality. I've never experienced it myself, but some say that walking into a house of birds with influenza is eerily quiet because the birds are so unwilling to react. If you start suspecting that your farm is infected with HPAI, it's important to report it as soon as possible so that the appropriate entities can assist with testing. Your farm will very likely be quarantined until HPAI is confirmed or denied, meaning that only authorized workers are allowed on and off the premises. Additionally, the movement of poultry, poultry products, and equipment is restricted to the farm. In the event that your farm is confirmed positive, state and federal authorities will assist in depopulating the birds. Birds affected with HPAI are not allowed to enter the food chain, so once cases are confirmed, the goal is to contain the virus as quickly as possible to prevent spread to other populations of birds in close proximity. Preventing HPAI on your farm starts with good biosecurity practices. Keep your equipment in covered areas where contact with wild birds and wild bird feces is minimal. Reduce traffic on and off your farm to mandatory personnel only. Disinfect footwear when moving around the farm. All of these are important practices for preventing any disease. Since this outbreak of HPAI is being spread so widely by wild birds, it's also important to focus on keeping them off of your farm. 
Conceal or get rid of elements that may attract wild birds like standing water, trash, feed, and mortality. It's also recommended to use disposable shoe coverings so that you don't track in any contamination that might have been left by wild migratory birds. Highly pathogenic avian influenza has made its way into bird populations in 46 states in the U.S. since early 2022. This disease is characterized by respiratory changes, lethargy, and rapid mortality. Although this virus is being transmitted primarily by wild birds, it is important that we all implement strict biosecurity and monitoring to protect our own birds as well as those housed near us. This season of illness is beginning to affect us all, whether that's on farm or at the grocery store. To those of you whose farms have already been affected by the current HPA outbreak, our thoughts and prayers are with you as you navigate these strange and difficult waters. To our poultry growers who have not had this experience, we hope that you continue to see healthy and productive birds on your farms. Below this video, you can find links to track the current outbreak, as well as some additional information provided by the USDA and the CDC. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our poultry products or poultry biosecurity, you can reach us at 800-608-3755. If you have any questions about HPAI or bird health, you can reach me at alyssa at southinorganics.com.